Welcome to my channel where you find all about mixed media, art journaling, assemblage and anything else that sparks my interest. Hi, my name is Bea Grob and I'm glad you are here today. Hey folks, I'm back with another little video for you. I'm gonna play with stamps. Those are from Inka Dinka Doo. They have like beetles and moth and spiders, but I'm gonna concentrate on the beetles. I'm gonna stamp them with embossing ink and then use a copper embossing powder. But first I'm gonna do the background with some watercolor ground. Uh, this is happened to be a pearlescent white, uh, just plain white would work too. We have something to do that the pages accept the watercolors I plan to use which are metallic. So I'm gonna make me a little bit room and then we'll be back. First, of course, I need the ground and I um, simply use a gift card or a key card or whatever you have on hand. Now, I'm going to use the heat gun to dry it off and then I'll do the other page here and then I will be back. Now I'm going to stamp them on a dictionary paper, the beetles, and then emboss it and then I'm going to fussy cut it. And I don't do anything to the page because the embossing powder probably going to hide most of the text. I try to avoid the bold letters if I can. Okay, I'm still not decided whether I'm gonna fussy cut them or whether I'm gonna tear them. But because I'm so close here, I guess I have to cut them. Okay, and I do leave sort of a border. Now, before I gonna glue them down, I'm gonna add the green metallic background with my watercolors. I use Mod Podge to attach them and I use my fingers because the surface is really uneven. Yeah. And I 
kind of checking where it is. I want it to peek through. In some areas, not everywhere. But what about this guy here? You have to work with the mod podge rather quickly because um, the watercolor lifts up and I don't want the color coming onto the beetles if I can avoid it. And as you can see I try to see where I... There's this one, okay. I try to have from both sides something in the holes. <laughs> so to speak. Okay. Now let's see if we can give the beetles a little bit more color. I'll make a lot of, rather thick paint this time. The embossed area resists the paint a little bit which I was hoping for. Sorry about the glare. It's kind of hard for you to see. I do have a purple, a dark purple here, but you can no longer see since I have zoomed in. <laughs> I decided to go in. It's the graphic uh, Pigma Graphic One. It's an archival. It's in brown. I decided I have to redefine the shapes a little bit, so that's what I'm doing here. And I do sketchy lines, I'm not overly neat. <laughs> so to speak. Uh, leave gaps in between. I know it's kind of hard to see for you because of all that shimmer, but there will be as usual a picture at the end of the video, so stay tuned.
Now, in case you don't like bugs, and I know there are a lot of people out there who have problems with beetles and insects in general, spiders and all that kind of things, just go for butterflies or, or maybe those, um, oh, what are they called? The, hmm. I used to know the name. I mean, I know it in German. It's Marian Kever, but ladybug. That's the that's the name. The ladybugs. Go for something like that. Here we are. Okay, I gotta zoom you out again so we can see the hole and I'm gonna tilt it a little bit. So we have uh, pastures full of beetles in all shimmery metal metallic colors. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and I hope to see you soon again. Take care, bye!